what it do boy it's your boy the monster here with another video thank you guys for tuning in this is how to win in pro am and what i'm doing with this i'm telling you all i'm doing is trying to make your experience and gameplay more successful when it comes to winning that's all i'm trying to do and yes we have the iciest jerseys in 2k we have the best jerseys oh my gosh jump man jump man jump man damn boys up to something hey jump man jump man jump man damn boys up to something that's what my jerseys make me say shorty you feel me that's what our jerseys do but uh let's get into the gameplay Ooh, already at eight seconds that's terrible anyway first off shout out to the crew that we're going against you know uh this ended up a ultimate super mega blowout and um they didn't quit they just kept playing but anyway so some tips for pro-am so as you know pro-am isn't the same as park at all you're gonna have to find a pro-am jumper which i will do a top five pro-am jumper list soon you will have to find your your what is it your swag when it comes to moving around because it's not like the park as i said the speed is lower it's on 50 you can and it's simulation now what that means is it's on 50 is like if you go play a regular play now match that is how pro-am feels now so it's no more that super speedy you really can't dribble cheese at all you can't do none of that cheese uh in the pro-am so anyway Again, back to the tips. Like I had to let you guys know that how different it is. You gotta, you gonna have to get your swag when it comes to movement. I already said you gotta get your jump shot. Next, you need the do you need the correct positions. You need at the one, of course, a point guard. Not a shooting guard. Not a small forward. A point guard. Also, you need to queue up with all five players. Since it's fixed, you don't need four players. It, like people was queuing up with four players you don't have to do that anymore actually queue up with five players a point guard at the one a shooting guard at the two a small forward at the three a power forward at the four and a center at the five now in this video i have two centers that works too that's actually beast that's beast mode but also one of the pro-am games we played that we still won um one of my centers got cooked got cooked you know what I'm talking about? Cook. I think homie dropped 40 points on him because he was a just a faster player at the number four position. And the center couldn't handle it. We had to start helping. I mean, we still put out the W, but that's just my point of emphasis on why you need to have these certain positions at the position for a reason. Because speed kills on this game. And like I say in, in a previous video, if the other team has the correct position and they're smart enough to understand that it's a mismatch in some sort of way they're going to try to abuse it now you can catch on to it at an early time to prevent a loss but you know things happen but anyway um so have the correct positions <clears throat> now as a team to win you're not just going to win just because i'm telling you the correct positions you're going to have to actually get build team chemistry team chemistry is the number one thing just like in real life nba basketball when those teams just, you know, just like the Heats were when they first was uh, united together with that beast team, they didn't win a championship because they needed team chemistry. So you got to stop switching through so many different players. Find a legit five that you're going to play with in Pro-Am and build up that chemistry. That's something that's very important. Next, what you need to do is, which I'm always going to say is play smart. You got to play smart basketball. You definitely, 1 million percent cannot ball hog in Pro-Am. Unless you are playing the worst bums ever in history, you cannot ball hog in Pro-Am. You can't. You got to pass. Your big man, a recommendation, you need to find a big man with post moves. Like, big men don't, don't just... It's not like the Rex in the last year where you can just sit there and cheese, blap, blap, dribble, 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 and a big man just get rebounds for you. That's it. No. Let your big man score. That's that's pressure off of your shooters and your point guard that they don't have to be the ones scoring every play. You need big men who can score. Now, of course, the ultimate tip is defense win games. I can't teach you defense. 
I really can't teach you IQ. I could teach you defense, but I can't teach you the IQ on knowing what to do. So as I said, when you're building that team chemistry, you guys are going to get used to and get the hang of what offensive players do the most so you can know how to play defense. But for the most part, you want to at least try to stay in front of your defender with that green bar underneath your uh, character or well, with that bar green so you can know you play the best defense as possible. Now, with all these tips, you're still going to win or lose, but all I'm trying to do is increase your chances of getting a win in pro -Am. That's all. And I'm actually showing you live footage of from start, from the whole first quarter, what we did to ultimately blow this team out. And like you see, we're just playing great defense. Um, another tip to add is, along with that team chemistry, you need communication. Don't play with people who don't have mics, who are shy. You all need to have mics on if you're trying to be one of those top tier teams. I'm telling you, when you when you queue up, especially if you queue up with a team like me, man, we we come in the ball, we come in the ball. So have you need communication? Have the mics on, and like I said, smart shots, all of that matters. So with that being said, I'm gonna conclude this video with uh, with the tips to winning in pro am. If there's anything you would like to add and or request for the future video, please just let me know and I will have, I will feel, I'll be happy to help you guys out. You know, I just like giving tips and making the community better as a whole because honestly, I get tired of playing uh, players who quit 24-7. I wanted to be, go down to the wire every time. That pressure makes it fun. That makes you want to stay online and keep playing when the game goes down to the wire. That's just me. But it's your boy Lamonster. Thanks for coming into my channel. It's your boy Lamonster. Thanks for coming to my channel. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Them jerseys is up to something. But anyway, I'm out. It's your boy Lamonster. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.